in Darwin's Black Box in 1996, uh, Behe spotlighted and made famous a number of really interesting discoveries that had been occurring in biochemistry and cell biology over the last two or three decades. And what, what biologists, molecular biologists, cell biologists, microbiologists have been discovering is that at the level of individual cells, there are little tiny examples of nanotechnology, little tiny machines at work. The flagellar motor is the one that Behe made most famous. It's a rotary engine that uh, powers a whip-like tail, a protein tail, that functions like a propeller. And it moves the bacterium through liquid, enabling the bacterium to essentially track down its food, its food supply. And this little machine includes a rotor, a stator, a drive shaft, a U-joint, bushings, bearings, and a whip-like tail that functions like a propeller. And the machine in some, in some bacterial systems turns at 100,000 RPMs in one direction and can reverse direction on a quarter of a turn and turn 100,000 RPM in the other direction. And bacterial flagellum is a true nanomachine, about 40 nanometers in size. It's amazing. I mean, E. coli, salmonella, which are kind of our model systems for the bacterial flagellum, can propel a cell about 20 lengths per second through a very viscous medium like water to these organisms. And you extrapolate that to human um, scale. 20 body lengths per second, six foot person, you know, times 20, 120, 120 feet per second. Mark Spitz or Phelps would be setting uh, records with this type of propulsion. It's hardwired into a, a uh, a, signal a signal transduction circuit that allows the bacterium to sense changes in the sugar gradient in the, uh, in, in the surrounding liquid. This signal transduction system is actually a short-term memory system where the cell is, if it's going in the direction of an attractant, a nutrient that it can use um, to metabolize, it follows that chemical gradient. If it's a repellent, it will sense that and move in, in the opposite direction. So it's more than just this engine. It's an extraordinary piece of nanotechnology. It's high tech in low life. And so uh, just by spotlighting these extraordinary pieces of nanotechnology inside cells, and the flagellar motor wasn't the only one, one by any means, Behe in a sense opened up uh, a window for people. He opened up the black box of the, of the inner workings of the cell and said, look, this is much more complica complex than anything that, than, than anything that the early evolutionary biologists had envisioned. Darwin knew nothing of this type of nanotechnology in cells, and at the very least, we've got to come up with an explanation for this.